yesterday making my Mexican lasagna with you guys. So today I am going to be making my husband's favorite, which I seem to be doing that a lot. And I'm going to be making some country fried steak, and later on I'm going to be making some waffle fries. And I am going to be using cube steak for this recipe, and my slow cooker. So let's get started. First I have some veggie oil in my skillet, and I have my heat on high. I'm going to take my cube steak and drench it in flour. And some salt. Both sides. And some pepper. Again, both sides. As you can hear, my skillet is warming up. Hi, Mom! Okay, so I'm going to shake off the excess of the flour. And I am going to put that right into my skillet. It says to let it cook until it is golden brown. And then while that one is cooking, because I only have room for one at a time, I am going to start with the soup mixture, which is just a cup of water and some cream of chicken. I'm just going to take my cream of chicken, put it right into my slow cooker. And then I'm going to mix the water and the slow cooker, apparently, and the soup, I'm sorry. Apparently this is supposed to make the white gravy. We will see how that turns out. What are y'all having for dinner tonight? I know I will not be live tomorrow because me and my husband are going to Ionia to see the fireworks, which I'm excited about, but it's not done yet. I'm going to add some mushrooms under the soup mixture. We love mushrooms in this house. I don't know who don't like mushrooms, but the required taste. <laughs> And I used to use canned mushrooms, but now I use the real things. Prefer them. I think that's enough. I was supposed to make this a couple days ago, but I did not have the time. So I'm making it now. You having fun out there door dashing them? Or is it Zoe? You never know. Especially when I can't hear you. Right, I'm going to sit for a minute. I'll just put... to cook for two hours but I got physical therapy so it's going to be cooking for an extra hour which it don't hurt it's in the slow cooker <laughs> wow well, this one on this side I'm going to take this one and do the same thing then take my flour And 
that one is done, because I'm going to place this right on top in my slow cooker. And then I am going to shake off the excess flour in the other one. And pat that one down. Thankfully, no other hot oil came up and got me this time. And to flip it, I am using my pan for chef tongs. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Wait, again, any of your pampered chef needs, we talk to my mom. This time I feel like it's going to cook a little faster because the oil's a little hotter. But my husband loves country fried steak. And he was so confused when I said I was going to make it. And then he's like, chicken fried steak? I'm like, no, country fried steak. He's like, what are you looking at with what meat? I'm like, cheese steak. So he's really excited. He doesn't know I'm making it today, but he does know I'm making it at some point this week. And then when I get home from physical therapy, I'm going to make some waffle fries to go with it by putting those right in the oven. Hi, Misty. Oh. A little bird, but that's okay. And then, I am done with this, so I'm just going to throw it out right away. And throw it all out. Hmm. And I think this is done. No, it's been a long time. But I've enjoyed going live and filming my second day, but... I enjoy doing it, and just taking some dishes. So it hurts the pan on my legs so long. <laughs> Alright, that's good. And we're going to take this and put it right into the slow cooker. And then we are going to let that cook for 3-4 hours. It says 2, but with steak, eh, wouldn't mind a little longer. I'm not off <laughs> and I'll see you guys later.